Alzheimer's is a preventable and often reversible syndrome of cognitive decline. And there is a tremendous amount to be done about it. What we've found is that, in fact, nutrition is a really important part of reversal of cognitive decline for a number of reasons, starting with insulin resistance. And of course, that is a big part and a big risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Ketosis turns out to be quite important. And we find that the people who do best tend to be people who are achieving a level of ketosis, typically in the 1.5 to 4.0 millimolar beta-hydroxybutyrate range. And then, of course, we're finding that specific nutrients are critical for preventing and reversing cognitive decline. If you are deficient in anything from B12, for example, if you're deficient in vitamin D, if you're deficient in vitamin E, if you're deficient in glutathione, if you're not eating the appropriate amount of leafy greens, for example, um, if you're deficient in things that relate to your detoxification abilities, things like sulfur-containing vegetables and crucifers, for example, these things all will increase your risk for cognitive decline. So it turns out that, in fact, what you are eating does play a very important role in your cognition. The real seismic shift here is that we're going from a situation where people say there's nothing you can do to we're saying there are dozens and dozens of things in our armamentarium for cognitive decline.